So you enable the feature because there is a feature Elasticsearch. And you configured it in the app settings file. Yeah, there's the settings here in the app settings uh, that you can also add in your tenant. Here it's the root scope uh, app settings. Uh, you can have multiple connection types, uh, just like uh, documented in the Elasticsearch documentation. Here I just use a single node connection tool, which means it will connect only on the single node. Uh, single single UI. On, yeah, single, single UI. URL. Okay. I'm going to show you my um, Docker deployment, just so that you see. So you can see here you have Kibana, which is the desktop, and you have a single node running on port 9, 900 to 1000, 9000 to 200. So yeah. And here there's another node, but I don't think it's mapped. So. Uh, there's just one node for running for now. And of course, you need to go into the configurations and the features. And now I will put everything into the search category. So you have Lucene and Elasticsearch uh, features. And you enable the Elasticsearch module here. You have also a content picker for Elasticsearch, just like we have for Lucene. Uh, there is no worker because we don't need that. And also here it has some settings in the onion where you can now configure the search settings for um, the Elasticsearch module. You can decide which fields that you want, but for now if we compare with Lucene, it's quite the same. But they can't, they're kept separated because you could use a different field oh, for it. That's perfect. Yeah. And also having the same field means that it's safe, that we are not forgetting anything or yeah, that's good. I like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I made it so that it works with the same full text here feature that we had in in, in the content definitions. Um, yeah, I'm indexing the full text too uh, in Elasticsearch even if it doesn't make as much sense, but yeah, yeah we do it too. Um, and we have also for the search form here, we can decide which provider that we want and it's going to work on runtime. So if I'm switching from one to the other, it's going to be results. Need to save this. And it works. And I think I had a video on how to use also uh, query string query for Elasticsearch because it does quite the same as Lucene for doing things like man and I pick another word here. And I'm just allowing this search and it's going to return a result. Or two. That's not the best example, actually. No, it's not the best. I need to have two content. So go I back on to, your yeah. on your home page just to see what content items you have. Yeah, I need to add some blog posts here. Uh, probably but here. You, oh, you have just one. Yeah, just search for title. Yeah, search for title. So go back on the search and do man or title and man and title. So this should get two results. Yeah, but here we just display the block. Oh no, yeah, it should work too. Yeah. But yeah. that would be interesting to understand why. Because so, even if the query string is not passed correctly, it will look for man or title, the three words. So you should still return the, the article with the title title. Yeah. Well, um, let's see if we have them. The Acme are probably not oh, indexed. They are not, this is they why. Are not indexed. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is a custom tag that you made. Okay. Good. 
there. Very good. Everything makes sense. And now if you say end, it should not display the titles anymore. It should show, show nothing. Okay, yeah. beautiful. That works. And that's because you enable the query string parsing. Exactly. And you can switch from losing to uh, elastic search on runtime by just saving this and, and then the, searching the, again. There. The indexing settings that you did are they for both, like the types? Uh, what you mean? Uh, you mean you in the content definitions? Me. Yeah. The title, no. the title no, no, no. here. I mean, when you added in the index, Acme type, you didn't do that for the Lucene index. Uh, probably, yeah, too. That's what I'm asking. So you need to add Acme type, then. Oh, it's there. Rebuild. It's there. But I will rebuild. Rebuild, and then you check the option to pass the query. So that works and all should work. Interesting. Beautiful. Hmm. So nice. yeah, we had a discussion about this uh, with Sultan. Uh, I mean, on the PR because uh, people wanted to be able to switch from one indexing provider to another seamlessly. But uh, one thing that we have here that makes that we can't really do that is the fact that each of our queries are bound to an index here. Um, well, this is fine. It's a query, so you point to the index and I don't see the issue. Yeah, there's no issue there. It should not be loosely coupled. I mean, uh, even when we call the queries by name it queries, we could have changed the method to pass also an index so that we can change. But um, yeah, normally this is bound to an index because you are indexing specific content types in, in in specific indexes. So this is why they are bound to this. So what do you mean is that if you switch to Lucene here or to this to Elasticsearch, then it might not work because index doesn't exist in the other Yeah, provider. exactly. We can't okay. just switch from one provider okay. to the other. So this is why I had the settings here per module to define that I want to have Elastic or Lucene and then the module defines yeah, what, what it this wants is to for do. The, the search, yeah, this, yeah. yeah, this is for the search form. OK, but for the queries. Yeah, for the queries, how does it know to select the provider and then the index? Yeah, if you want to switch seamlessly, we will need to it's have just one type of query. I mean, just have like a loosing. Oh, uh, no, I mean. Here. So today you have two types? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So this is when you create a query, you say, what is the source of the query? No, that's perfect. There is a SQL query, there is a Lucene query, there is an Elasticsearch query. No, that's perfect. Uh, it looked ugly in your queries. What was the thing in the middle? Oh, yeah, Places. when I did this, it's because yeah. uh, you don't I'm have missing the shape. a template. Yeah, the shape is the not shape. there. Okay. Maybe I renamed it, or probably I just uh, it's just a trio that has fun with Okay, me. don't touch anything. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And also, I've been working on trying to make Lucene a little more like Elasticsearch on last Friday, just so that because we are missing some query parsers here and there, and also okay. options that we don't have here with Elastic. Nice. Uh, we have the option to store the source data or not. By default, if you do not have the mapping here, uh, yeah, I'm going to show the mapping first. Um, well, here. I'm in Kibana. I'm, I'm displaying the, the, the mappings because uh, Elasticsearch has mappings. And when we pass the data from Orchard, it does automatic mapping of the data. And we'll have these things here, Acme, uh, Identifier, Text Field, which is a custom uh, text field that I had on my content type, which is named Acme. And it's going to do 
two different fields, one that is set as a type text and one that is keyword that we can use as a technical value because here it is going to be stored and here it's going to be analyzed. So this is a default behavior of uh, Elasticsearch uh, because we don't provide the mapping beforehand. We just pass the data and it's going to do an automatic mapping based on the CLR, CLR types that, that it receives. So if it's received text, it's going to do this kind of indexing. And if it's receiving a Boolean here, it's going to just do, let's say, here I received a Boolean. I don't need to add another field, which is keyword. Same thing with numeric, uh, numeric fields and things like that. Here you can see a long. And yeah, it's not going to add a keyword in that uh, case. So I wanted to replicate this kind of behavior um, in Lucene and also uh, the fact that uh, you can start a source of the data or not, because by default, when you do a query here, if I do a query and I remove the source files, for example, it's going to always return also the source fields, which have been passed uh, to, uh, to Elasticsearch. And this behavior here, you can also disable it globally uh, on Elasticsearch by uh, doing something that I did here by adding the mapping. If I unclick this on the index, going to change the mapping, uh, the mapping of Elasticsearch and say the source, I don't want to have it when you index and it's going, not going to be passed. But it comes with another question after that. If you don't have the source, then how do I retrieve records or data from Elasticsearch? Then Elasticsearch has the definition for returning fields which are stored, uh, which is something that I was starting to work on with the Lucene to retrieve just specific fields. And also, uh, if you see here in those in inde indexes, uh, normally we don't store the source data because, because we, we don't want to, because it, it has a lot of data in the Lucene in in indexes. And also, it, it's, it takes longer to index. So it's pretty experimental. I'm trying to do some things here with that. Maybe it will not be pushed on the first uh, implementation, maybe later, but trying things here. And also trying to implement the same thing with Lucene where you can pass a field uh, and return just specific fields. Uh, as an example here, uh, I think I have it there. Yeah right there for elastic uh, i'm just saying i want to have these two fields and don't provide the source i'm doing a query and then i'm i'm returning just these two fields which are uh which is better for then receiving all the source because then it acts a little bit like refql where you want to have just a specific field and it reduces a payload also So yeah, that's about uh, that's about it. And Thank you. Probably you have. A... Yes. No, there is a big change to do, which is every time I see Elastic, Elastic Space Search, Elastic Search Capital S, you need to change everything to Elastic Search one word uh, lowercase like this. Yeah, uh, 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 I've seen that uh, afterward. Yeah. It's the That's, right name. Yep. Everywhere you see elastic indices, no, like everything, everywhere. Two words, no, it's one word. There is no capital S. And uh, yeah, elastic search. And so, okay, good. Thank you. There are some questions or something. I mean, um, probably we'll need to talk about this on next meeting for details. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
we'll watch the video and ask questions. But yes, right. So it's as easy as a listening module. So it should just work. Uh, what do you think about the change in the loosing module? Because maybe it's going to break things. Um, Try not trying not to break things, but I mean, we need to at some point uh, mimic what is in Elasticsearch, so trying to match the same behavior here. What did you break? Oh yeah, something here I had, which you won't like much, but for the indexing here, I removed uh, something. You can just analyze or store, because there was too okay. much option there. By yeah, default. It's not, it, they were not implemented or they didn't make sense probably. Yeah, because here okay. it's supposed to be analyzed based on the fact that it's a text field. If you pass text, then yeah, you can analyze it. Then here it's going to choose mm -hmm. no by CLR type that it's going to index it or uh, analyze it or store it. Okay. But then you can also say, yes, I want to specify that it's going to be stored, but it doesn't make sense if you do this on the numeric field, for example. So I wanted to have an option where you could say here some specific content field. You don't have the option no, to store. Don't, don't do that. Just provide the option. And if it doesn't make sense, it just doesn't make sense. People should not click it. Yeah, maybe. Because, yeah. Or what do we do? We, we just don't right. do anything with that with our. our Wait, what, yeah. What's the issue here? The, the numeric field cannot be stored? Why? Can be stored, but you need to convert its value as a string beforehand. So that yeah, doesn't make sense okay, to but... use a numeric field if it's a text field that then that you use with a custom editor. That's fine. Yeah. Well, to edit the value is numeric, but in the index is text. There is no issue with that. And when I say it's text, it's formatted text such that the search engine can search for it. Yeah, but here it, it will behave differently with Elasticsearch and Lucene if we say. It's OK. This I want to provide. It yeah. doesn't matter. I'm going to take a look at that. Well, I can talk pretty much more in detail, maybe on Thursday. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.